today is seating day, guys. We are gonna start out with this tow behind the Thatcher from Brindley. If you haven't seen that, check out that video here. Let's get this thing hooked up. Bam, super simple to hook up. We just use two cinder blocks. That way it's weighed down and digging in as much as possible. We're gonna go to the lowest setting and we'll tear this yard up. You could use an aerator. I don't have that, so this will work also. I appreciate your support. If you would, please consider dropping down below, hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps our channel out. All right, going pretty good. Now that I just dropped off the sleeping kiddo, let's get going on these hills and slopes. I don't want to do that holding the baby because we kind of have to lean left and right. She's not a baby, she's a big girl.
All right, so that one pass over the whole yard gave us, it broke the ground up pretty good. If you wanna see, this was just bare dirt here. Um, we added some new loam to it. And then there's where we had um, the existing lawn that is just, I don't even know what kind of grass it is. We'll call it bad grass because it's not good. But uh, out here is where last year, last fall, we planted our tall fescue. And obviously we did the work over here um, for a French strain. So we kind of killed all the grass right there. But we'll go back here and look what it does to uh, where we had a nice existing lawn. I cut it pretty short yesterday and tore it up a good amount. So we throw the seed down. Pop. You're a goof. Now we'll just throw the seed down and we should get a good layer. Um, we're gonna kind of go heavy again. Not as light as a typical overseed because we want it. We have some patches that are uh, that need a lot of seed. So, all right. So we're gonna get started on seeding. We're gonna using this 85 pound Agrifab spreader. Uh, it's a pretty nice spreader i haven't had any issues with it just make sure when you stop in your seating close your trap because it will start falling out next thing you know you'll have a huge pile of uh, seeds or whatever you're spreading so we're going to go with the kentucky 31 tall fescue that's what we seeded last year in the back i really like it and it's pretty durable um through the drought so you can get this at tractor supply for about 70 bucks we went with the uncoated um, i don't know how the coated works but I read some reviews online that people have had uh, less than satisfactory results with that. So we just went with uncoated. It worked great for us last year and we're gonna do it again. Now we're just gonna start on uh, setting three out of 10 kind of gauge where we're at um, for coverage in that probably it's probably a third of a bag so let's see what we can get Boy, that seed goes real quick. We are done with that whole bag. Now it's time to get this spreader off. And the roller hooked up.
So since the rain in our forecast is pretty slim, um, what I'm using is my tripod uh, sprinkler. I'll post a similar one down below that you guys can pick up off Amazon. So we're letting that thing go and we're gonna have to keep moving it around and around the yard um, as long as we don't have rain. I'm using two 100 foot hoses and we kind of get weird pressure out of our, our low pressure out of our exterior spigot. So I ran it in directly to where our well comes in, get a little bit better pressure and we're using an orbit timer so I can control it from outside. Um, I can set a timer and then that way when I see it goes off, I can move it instead of kind of forgetting it and letting it go. So we can also do automatic timer, but we probably won't be doing that. So hopefully we can get this seed to germinate nicely before any frost comes. Uh, that's the hope. It'd be nice to have a nice full lawn after this. So let's see what happens. So it has been about 20 days since I seeded or overseeded our back lawn. Let me show you some of the results. This area right here was completely covered by a pool. Um, we seeded it, had some extra loam uh, to level it out, and then we laid some hay on top. And I think the results are pretty darn good. This should grow in nice and thick um, after spring. Over here where the chickens usually like the dust bath, uh, we filled that in and we got that seeded. Looks pretty darn good over by our trash cans and up to here they're doing the same thing dust bath not any more chickens i'm not letting them free range right now because i don't want them to tear this up they'll just come over here and destroy this so we'll let that thicken up before we get them out again over here by the driveway i tried overseeding here um and it came in okay not that great but the thing about here is it's getting all the salt in the sand for the winter so it's kind of like i think the soil is pretty bad so that's probably why it it didn't go so well and also sometimes the kids do walk on here to get in the car we also seeded this pathway here it still gets walked on some we had some hay on it did okay and right here in front of the stairs we do come in and out of here a lot i'm assuming that's where everybody walks and this not so much that looks pretty good it'll grow in nicely hopefully some of that does survive but this was just completely bare before obviously because it was a walking path. But let's get down to the parts we really care about. The backyard where we had the French rain, we want to seed that to match the rest of the lawn, have a nice back area that's all grass. There's a patch. There's another patch coming in very nicely. This should be nice and thick by next summer. We did quite a bit of space um, and we seeded everywhere although we went heavier on the spots where it was bare. So that doesn't look too bad. Not bad here. That's obviously um, a spot where there's more water. So some of the seed probably got washed away here. But this guys, look at this. This is where the French drain was. Look at that. You can tell a little bit if I go up a little more but it came in pretty darn nice. And this is gonna come in nice and thick next summer. So I'm happy with this. As you can tell, I haven't cut the grass in a while. And I was planning on doing it today, but it's too wet. Down here is okay. This area, man, if my lawn looked like that, that would've been nice. Down here, obviously another washout issue. We'll just have to work on that a little bit more next year. Um, but it'll be a, a good start. Here's a, one of the big areas where we were initially dropping our loam. It's not too bad. It's not perfect, but I think it'll do. Let's go over to uh, where we got nice and stuck. Here's a couple of the uh, ruts right there. I was showing you a lawn when they're just covered by leaves. No, it looks pretty good. So. That's where we filled in and overseeded. And this area, a little bit less, but I think it will pick up. This is only our second season with grass in the backyard. So if you want to drop down below, hit that like, subscribe button with the bell notification so that way you're aware when we provide new content every Friday and Monday. Hopefully after the snow melts in spring, 
I'll have a nice update up here and it'll be booming at that time. Next year, I really wanna focus on weeds and killing those and trying to make it just tall fescue. I appreciate your support. If you would, please consider dropping down below, hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps our channel out.